Hi guys, and welcome to Predator Vision for Skyrim Special Edition version 2.0. This is a fairly major update to this mod. For those of you that don't know, Predator Vision is a mod that gives night vision and thermal vision to various creatures of the night and now other people, including alchemists and mages. I will talk about that a little more later on. For now, those of you who have been using this for your vampires or werewolf characters, you can continue to do so. Not a lot has changed, except I have tweaked the night vision to work better in Skyrim Special Edition and actually function far better in Dark Dungeons. This is using a Dark Dungeon mod and I've changed it so that it is sharper and less washed out when using night vision. No changes have been made to the thermal vision. You still get heat vision on and a heat trail on any creature that is alive. But the night vision has changed. It should be sharper. It should be clearer and easier to navigate. However, you will notice in lit areas, it is a little bright, which is reasonable for night vision. I think this is actually a far more useful version of the night vision. You can still change the values if you want it to be really bright. You can do that. And this will actually be pretty damned visible. This is more or less vanilla levels of brightness, even here in this dark corridor. Of course, this does mean the torch lit areas become somewhat blinding. That is kind of realistic, though. You can still change the tint if you want to have a more monochrome look and feel. However, this will not make vision hard to see. Let's put this back on. There you go. It's a little more monochrome, a bit black and white. However, vision is still crystal clear. One of the key premises for this mod is to make night vision somewhat more pleasant to use, especially if you're a vampire character who's supposed to see in the night as well as most people see in the day, if not better. So this mod will actually allow you to do that. I'll just reset that. Whenever you make a change, you do have to stop and start. So there you can see that is more or less as though it was a sunlit area. So if you're a vampire, caves like this will pose no problem whatsoever. As before, if you have SKSE 64 installed, you will be able to activate these via the key, the N key and the B key, which can be changed if you have Sky UI installed. They can be changed through the MCM. If you don't have SKSE 64 installed, there will be relevant powers added to your spell list if you are a vampire or you have acquired night vision some other way. But the major change in version 2.0 is the fact that there are now a number of other ways to get night vision beyond just being a Khajiit, a vampire, or a werewolf. If you're an alchemist, for example, you can create night eye potions. The ingredients are Eye of Wolf, which is a new ingredient and looks suspiciously like the Eye of Saber Cat. These will actually drop on wolves, or you can buy them in some alchemy shop. So you will find them dotted around. Obviously, glow dust is a little rarer, and I did that deliberately to make this not a common potion for you to make. So you'll, you'll want to use these a little wisely, and you just make it the same as you make any potion. For potions of Predator Vision, you're going to need the Eye of the Saber Cat and Vampire Dust. Again, this is a reasonably rare component, so you want to use this a little wisely. But the potions are reasonably long-lasting, especially the Night Eye Potion, and the duration is affected by your alchemy level and your perks, even Ordinator. So if you have Lab Skeever, you can actually get these to last for quite some time. The potions actually behave as though you have been granted the power. So if I take the night eye potion, I immediately get the night vision, and it will last for about five minutes right now, but I can toggle it on and off the way a vampire can. Time is still ticking down, so it's not like the timer is stopped. 
I do only have about five minutes of night vision, but I can turn it on and off. And the same is true for the Predator Vision Potion. When I first take it, it will activate, but I can, of course, switch it off. And now that I've taken both, I can actually switch between these different vision modes as I want. And if you're thinking, damn it, Gopher, I'm a mage, not an alchemist, don't worry, I do have you covered. There are a number of different spells that you can use, including some that are available for novices. Dark Vision, which is the night vision spell and belongs to the Illusion School, and Predator Vision, which is an alteration spell. These spells will be found at various vendors and can appear in chests throughout the game, so you should find them in the normal course of your playing. Now, of course, because this is a concentration spell, it's a little like carrying a torch, so it's not quite as convenient as being a vampire. However, even though you do hear a sound, it is silent and you will not get spotted, so it's going to be good for somebody who's trying to sneak and somewhat magically inclined. The same applies to Predator Vision, except try to remember that because you are a warm-blooded creature, you are uh, also glowing, so it is even more like holding a torch. Now, I totally understand if you think, well, a concentration spell is going to get irritating after a while. It's all very convenient when I'm starting out, but, you know, couldn't I have a fire and forget spell? And the answer is yes. If you are further along in your arcane studies, you have Dark Sight, which is a fire and forget night vision spell, and Predator, which is a fire and forget thermal vision spell. You will need to be able to cast adept level illusion spells for Dark Sight and expert level alteration spells for Predator. And if you're not, well, the chances are you're probably not going to be very successful. However, if you do have the required skill and magicka, you should be able to use this spell and then have it behave exactly as the potion does, exactly as the Khajiit night vision does, and you can toggle it on and off as long as the spell is active. And the spell usually lasts a reasonably long time. I've set it so that you're not constantly having to recast this. So five minutes and uh, then you might have to cast it again. I'm hoping that's kind of a good balance with the concentration spells for when you're a novice, but once you're an advanced mage, once you're at, towards the mid to end game, you just want to get the night vision and forget about it and just toggle it on and off as needed. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Predator Vision 2.0, Night Eye and Thermal Vision for everybody. Well, not everybody, obviously. I mean, you have to keep some standards, don't you? But you will now have an option to see in the dark, no matter who or what you are, if you are willing to put the work in. I hope you enjoy the mod if you decide to try it out, and feel free to leave me any feedback on the mod page over on Nexus. I will try and check it reasonably regularly and see if there are any issues that need my attention. And all that's left for me to say is thank you for listening, and I will see you guys next time.